or the outdoors kitchen of the Polynesian Islands. Now, folks, repeat after me and say, Imu. Imu. One more time, Imu. Imu. That is spelled I M U, not E M U, like how it sounds. One more time, for good luck, Imu. Imu. Thank you very much. That was very easy to make. All you do is you open space like this, and you dig a hole. Two feet deep, three by four feet wide. From there, in that hole, you start a fire. Very fun. Here in the end, you use mesquite or cabin wood, use coconut husk, and coconut shells. Coconut shells are kind of like charcoal. They burn for a long period of time, nice and hot. So from there, make the fire, and we throw in rocks. Thank you very much. I put the thing in first, but it belongs to cook. You do not want any meat for a pork, correct? Correct. There we go. Please, hop for the men. Hard working men. I don't want this morning, you woman. The first is coconut. Yeah. Thank you to the five people. <laughs> now, folks, step number one, you get your coconut in your hand and you kill it. Okay? You step, push down. From there, bring it back out. You should have one hole. Very important mirror, you turn to the side, step another hole. Push down again. One hand on top for safety reasons. The reason why these folks sometimes you push too hard and coconut the stick, the melee, can actually go right through and that's not good to generation. Oh, okay. So one on top for safety, other hand you're gonna push down. And all you're doing is you're peeling the husk ah, off the actual coconut. Like so. Okay? You can clap, clap, clap. This Louder! Thank you. <laughs> From there, you the same steps, turn to the side, step again, push down. And on top of shake the other hand, follow through. Very simple once you get the hang of it. We do this every single day. Folks, my mom came from Samoa at a young age, or on my age right now. She came here to be a better life, away from climbing trees, husking coconuts, and doing things. <laughs> here I am. <laughs> They capture the birds in flight, brought them to the ground, and forced them to reveal the secret of fire. They told Maui that fire was hidden inside the wood. By rubbing dry pieces of wood quickly together, you can create burning particle dust. The burning dust is then transferred to the pool pool. Dry husk of the coconut. Then, by passing air through the coconut, you can set the flammable husk ablaze. Maui returned from the mountain with the secret and shared it with his people. And this method of creating fire was passed on from generation to generation. Ladies and gentlemen, please watch as Maui Kiki Akalu shares with you his ancient secret of fire.
Kailaha. Although his movements and facial expressions may seem fierce, this is a greeting. So, ladies and gentlemen, when the warrior of New Zealand sticks his tongue out at you, he is saying to all of you, Hello there. And now, the Maori of New Zealand welcome you with the haka used to instill strength and courage before the day. Nauna, Haidema, Kiaute, welcome to New Zealand. Yeah, I'm ready. 